My name is Brian Cox, but most people know me as the travel vlogger. I'm always in search of extraordinary experiences, and on this adventure, I'll be biking over 700 kilometers across the Czech Republic. Come with me to see what makes this destination so special. Dobry den and welcome to day 14, our final day. And on our final day, it decided to rain. Good thing I got this sweet rain jacket. So right now we're leaving Otrokovice in the direction of Zlín, which will be a total of about 13 kilometers. So hopefully we don't get too wet. We did get wet, real wet, but in no time we made it to Zlín. Here we would stop the famous Bata skyscraper, also known as building number 21, built under the instruction of Jan Bata, the king of shoes, an interesting and important figure in Czech culture. Perhaps the most interesting thing was his office, which was actually inside an elevator, so that he could efficiently oversee the entire business. A giant elevator with space for two secretaries, a sink, and phone lines. Now that is an office with a view. But now, we had to say goodbye to Zdenek. As you just noticed, we picked up a transfer service from Zlín, and we're gonna be taking it 100 kilometers all the way to Pribor before we start biking the rest of the way to Ostrava. On this journey, we're gonna stop in the town of Novi Yichin for some brief sightseeing, and then we're gonna go to Stromberg, where we're gonna have lunch, and then final to Pribor, where we have about 35 kilometers left of riding. Fingers crossed it will not be raining anymore. And then we will be at our final destination of Ostrava, and the trip will be done. Oh my God, I can taste victory. Oh, and if you want to do transfer services, which by the way, sometimes you're not gonna be able to get a good train ride uh, to, to the destinations you wanna go to, these transfer services are a great way to go between some of the two cities. I will leave their contact information below in the description. In no time, we made it to Novi Yichin. We took a quick walk around the town center before stopping at the Hat Museum, since after all, this was the town of hats. Here, you could see the whole hat-making process. All right, the best part of the exhibit is the place where you can try into three to four hundred different hats. I think this is my favorite. It brings out my inner Jamiroquai. Garrett was less enthusiastic than I was. I didn't sign up for this, man. After trying on mini hats, it was time to head to our next stop. All right, we just got to the mountainous, tiny town of Stamperk. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. We're gonna have some lunch, maybe do a little bit of light exploring, and then we're off to our final destination where we will start, well, where we will finish the remaining of our bike ride. We have 35 more kilometers till we get to the end destination of the entire trip, Ostrava. I can taste victory right now. It's just around the corner. But first we need to eat and pivo up. We had a delicious lunch, as well as time to try the town's speciality, Stamperk Ears a sweet pastry made of honey spiced dough and shaped like ears. Now it was time to burn off lunch by climbing to the castle. Here we would get a great view of the entire area. We jumped back in the transfer and were eager to start riding. Once we arrived at Pribor, we met a new rider, Jana. Okay. We just left Pribor and we're headed to Ostrava. We've got a total of about 35 kilometers. The rain clouds, they're bunching up around us, so I don't know if we're gonna make it, but fingers crossed. We would really like to get there dry. 
it only took a couple kilometers and then the rain came. So here we go back on the road again in the rain. We rode for about an hour before deciding to stop to take a beer break and warm up. We only had an hour left of riding before we would arrive to our end point of a 14 day cycle trip across the Czech Republic. Oh my goodness, so we made it to Ostrava. The rain tried to stop us twice, but not me. I just kept pedaling through it. Unfortunately, the trip is now over. We, bike, we biked probably about 700 kilometers across the Czech Republic, saw some stunning scenery, met some amazing people. This is a trip I will remember for the rest of my life. And I promise you, if you come do this, you will not be disappointed. So I want to thank Czech Tourism for giving me this opportunity. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, in the description, you will find all kinds of helpful links so that you can recreate this trip or create your own trip. So until next time, see you later, or as they say in Czech, naskladano. To see tons of great photos from the journey, or to post your own shots, be sure to check out these hashtags on Instagram. Don't leave yet, there's tons of great videos to keep watching. More importantly, did you subscribe yet?